can welcome everyone to the 11th meeting in 2019 of the Delegated Powers and Law Reform Committee. Uh, I've got apologies today from Mary Fee. Uh, gender item one is to propose the committee takes items six, seven, eight, and nine on the delegated powers provisions in various bills and our quarterly report on instruments in private. Does the committee agree to that? Agreed. Okay. Second item is an instrument laid under the European Union Withdrawal Act 2018. And so we're looking at the scrutiny procedure and the categorisation applied by the Scottish Government. Uh, the instruments, the Town and Country Planning and Electricity Works EU Exit Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Regulations 2019 SSI 2019 80. And these regulations address uh, deficiencies to ensure that EU derived Town and Country Planning legislation relating to environmental impact assessments and hazardous substances continues to be operable and enforceable after the UK leaves the EU. It's been laid under the negative procedure and it's been categorised as of low significance. Our advisers indicate the scrutiny procedure and categorisation could be appropriate. Uh, so is the committee content the appropriate scrutiny procedure and categorisation has been applied? Content. Thank you. Agenda item three is an instrument subject to affirmative procedure. No points have been raised on the draft Justice of the Peace Courts, Sheriffdom of South Strathclyde, Dumfries and Galloway, etc. Amendment Order 2019. Is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Okay. And the fourth item are instruments subject to the negative procedure. And the first is the Town and Country Planning SSI, which we've just uh, considered under item two and which now have before us for technical scrutiny purposes. The instrument contains minor drafting issues relating to clarity of meaning in specific regulations. The government's acknowledged these issues. Full details can be found in correspondence with the government, which is included in our published papers. Does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the parliament under reporting ground H on account that the form of regulations 510C, 514AI, and 611AI could be clearer. Agreed. And as the drafting issues are minor and corrective action is not urgent, is the committee content with the government's assurance that it intends to bring forward an amending instrument? Agreed. Okay. The next instrument is the Teachers Superannuation and Pension Scheme Scotland Miscellaneous Amendments Amendment Regulations. SSI 2019-95. This instrument makes provision to ensure that the current employer contribution rate of 17.2 per cent will apply will continue to apply to the 31st of August 2019, with a revised rate of 23 per cent applying from 1st of September. Uh, the regulations were laid before the Parliament on the 18th of March and come into force on the 1st of April. This does not respect the requirement that at least 28 days should elapse between the laying of an instrument which is subject to the negative procedure and the coming into force of that instrument. Standing orders require the committee to draw to the Parliament's attention any failure to respect the 28-day laying requirement. The Scottish Government's reasons for not complying are set out in correspondence with the presiding officer, which is available in our published papers. So does the committee wish to draw the instrument to the attention of the Parliament on reporting ground J as the regulations fail to reply with the, regula uh, the requirements of section 28.2 of the Interpretation and Legislative Reform Scotland Act 2010? Agreed. Okay. And is the committee content that the failure to comply with section 28 is acceptable in the circumstances? Agreed. Okay. There's one other instrument to consider under this item. It's SSI 2019-96, and our advisers have not raised any points. So is the committee content with this instrument? Content. Okay. Uh, item five, uh, we're considering instruments not subject to any parliamentary procedure. Our advisers have not raised any points on SSIs 2019, 92, 93, and 97. Is the committee content with these? Content. Okay. And I'll move the meeting into private. <laughs>